good, Mama. Oh, good. I'm mm -hmm. glad you're still drinking. It's still good. Well, hello, Cafe Time friends. How y'all doing? I'm enjoying a cup of coffee. Mama made a fresh pot, fresh cup. And you can't beat that. You can't beat it. <laughs> it's just cooling down a little bit so I can drink it. Uh, somebody sent us this bread the other night, and I'm going to open it just because I want to know. And another reason is we got the ovens, both of the ovens blasting. Well, and as Mama says, as Mama says, if you got the ovens, I might as well bake something. And it says on this can you can bake this bread. So I don't know if you have to bake it, or if you get to bake it, or if it doesn't matter. But it is brown bread raisin. And I've never had that. I don't even know if we have that here. I think we surely probably do. But that ain't what we're having for supper. We're having uh, some fish that we're trying on your all's recommendations. Somebody told me to get a certain kind of Gortons, and that's what I got. And we said, we like it. We like it. We like easy fish. Don't want to spend all night working on fish. And if I'm going to spend a lot of time, it's going to be catfish, and it's going to be bread and all that. <laughs> so this is just plain old flaky fish. But my goal tonight is Mama's delicious macaroni and cheese. No bread tonight. We're opening this, and we may we may it eat this for dessert. Open both ends and push it out with the spoon. Does it? Mm-hmm. I read that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Now this smells pretty good. Ninety-nine fat-free cholesterol. No cholesterol. Let's see if I can just dump it. I may be able to break the rules. I don't know, Mom, if I can break these rules or not. It says use a spoon and open both ends and use a spoon to push it out. It says on that. I didn't even read that part. Well, we're going to try it without following the rules, of course. Put it in the bowl, you said. And we're going to go ahead and follow the rules and open the bottom and push it out with a spoon. We're going to roll it in this lemon pool, and we're going to put it in one of these hot ovens, and we're going to let it bake for 20 minutes so it gets hot all the way through, and then we'll slice it at the end, and we might use it as a bite of a dessert. Look at it. It's pretty. It smells good. It was a New England thing, they said. So let's try it. I think it's open. It's open all the way around, both ends. Paper. It's on the sides a little bit, but I guess that's bread. That's what bread's going to do, right? Mm -hmm. Start coming out there. Let's keep on pushing. Sometimes two things have to occur. Sometimes you have to read the instructions, and sometimes you have to follow them. But I'm the type that I kind of I push too hard. Don't push too hard if you notice. You messed the end of it up. Well, Mama, it said to push. Put it back on the I'm going to push some more. I don't know. I even took a knife and went around it. Okay. It's out. And there's a little bit right here. I'm going to tell you. I don't want to be defeated. All right. Let's move that over. Now, let's see. Okay. So here's a piece. Probably goes there. It's a puzzle. It's entertainment and food. And this piece. Can y'all tell me where that come from? That's the only puzzle pieces I've got. Inside, unfortunately. Mama, it's solid. So, okay, here, I'm just going to tell you, and, and here we go. So, you stack all your crumbs on the end, like that right there. And you take that same spoon, and you hold it good and tight, and you mash it, like that right there. 
and you don't say nothing about it till you got me. And you lay him down. I don't know what these little. I think it was some stuff that was on the my cup. Cornbread crumbs. It's cornbread crumbs. Now we're just going to roll him up in this aluminum foil. Base baked. Looks like a big old can of Coca Cola. There's a little piece. Let me taste it. It smells good. The can smells real good. It tastes good. There you have it. Can of bread. Tastes good. Tastes like brown bread, bread with raisins, like if you make a pun of it. And because they didn't tell me no different, I'm just gonna lay this right in there on the stove before it's already been warm. Mom will just lay that in there and see I'm gonna if it lay gets. Mom said no, she's gonna put it in this pan over here. Well, the pan had biscuit bread in it. Six forty-five. Now I'm gonna cut up an onion, not for tonight. We are making um, homemade cornbread dressing. Um, I told you we had a, a my uncle passed away uh, early this week, Tuesday, and um, we're going to be feeding the family. Uh, that's what we do in the south. I know y'all can't see me because I just was worried about the bread. Here is the thing up here. So in the south, that's one thing you do. If someone passes in the neighborhood or in your church, they usually will provide a meal. And it's normally, around here anyway, on the day of the interment at the cemetery. And that way the family and come home and have a nice meal together because usually everyone's there on that day. They can come home, have a nice meal together and uh, just spend a little time reflecting. And it's a great thing. And um, so Mama's making cornbread dressing and turkey. But now there will be other, it's not like a one-shot wonder when, in, when you do a southern, it's a pot, more like a potluck at church. Because that's normally who's doing it, it's the church people, family, and close friends. And um, so there'll be meatloaf, and there'll be um, ham, and there'll be turkey, and there'll be um, probably lasagna or something like that. Yeah. Usually somebody brings it in one Beans dish. Beans and corn. And Beans and corn, mashed potatoes. It'd be a big meal. And uh, a lot of times we do turkey and dressing for big things like that. Because the turkey is good and it feeds a lot of folks. And then the cornbread dressing is good. A lot of people want to eat pork with their blood pressure and turkey. They Turkey's really a healthier choice sometimes. But I'm just doing a little prep on this, and I don't know, and Mama's not even told me I'm not being home long enough to get my orders, because it just flew in here and got started. But Mama uh, will do dressing either tonight or in the morning. Mama, have you decided? I think I'm going to mix it up tonight. Mix it tonight, okay. And uh, put it in, just bake it in the morning. I'll take the turkey and yep. the dessert and the salad. And but we'll do this. And, and this is something that a lot of y'all will be fixing next week. For. You could have put that in here and then had a chop some edge and save it out there. I'm glad it was bright red. I honestly didn't even pay attention. But Mama, you see we're pretty well done here. Uh, we got all this celery do you want me, I can use it for the celery. How's that sound? Sounds good. Um, but you, some of y'all might be making this very same menu either next Sunday for for Palm Sunday for your family, or the following Sunday for Easter. Easter thirty first. Is it? Is it already next Sunday's Palm Sunday? Is it? Uh, no, next this coming Sunday is the seven. 
14th, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. But then the next Sunday is it? Palm Sunday. Anyway, some of y'all may be making dressing, cornbread dressing, turkey ham, some of that for the very same kind of thing uh, for Easter. We'll probably just do ham this year. Um, that's our normal Easter get together kind of food. Ah, right, onions done. But I am going to take advantage of this chopper since I've got a whole stock of celery to this. And we'll get this to cooking with some butter and some sage and all that goody that y'all know we use. Uh, but tonight, this has nothing to do with tonight. Uh, probably. Uh, this has nothing to do with tonight's. Tonight is macaroni and cheese. The star of the show tonight is macaroni and cheese. I don't care. Fish is the protein. We're going with that macaroni and cheese because it's mama's. And mama makes the best macaroni and cheese in the world to me. Now, I don't need no hate mail because your mama makes good too, I'm sure. And if you're not defensive about your mama's cooking, then I worry about you because everybody thinks their mama's is the best. And that's right. There's no argument. I will never argue that your mama's ain't the best because I guarantee you it is. Just like my mama's is the best. Two things can be right at the same time. Did y'all know that? Truthful. Now, if you're wondering what is he doing, I am using this. This is not for your compost. This is for eating. Those little, uh, they smell so wonderful. They are definitely for eating in your dressing or your soups. If we are using them, like, say, in chicken salad, I don't throw them away. I will put them in the refrigerator, and I'll wait till we are having soup, and then I'll use the tops of the celery in the soup. So there's more than one way of doing that. Mama, you want to come over here and talk about macaroni and cheese? I feel like we're doing a couple things at the same time. So we'll we are. That's the reason we are. But uh, the tonight's supper is fish and macaroni and cheese. Mama's going to show you that macaroni and cheese and how good it is. This is just a sideline. This is just extra. Got to have this for tomorrow. Now, Mama is in, this is her love language. Fixing food for a group of people is Mama's love language. Mama, tell them this macaroni and cheese here. Oh, this macaroni and cheese. I put salt and just a little butter in the water. Now I'm going to add more butter. Butter makes it better. Did you tell them what was in there already? Just salt and water and macaroni. And a little, uh, not even a half teaspoon of butter. Did you put any pepper in it? Not yet. I will. Excuse this noise, folks. I apologize. And that is evaporated milk, not condensed. Don't confuse the two. It's cream or evaporated milk as we call it. Actually, we call it cream and it's really evaporated milk. You was thinking, no, I'll get over and hide at the stove. That's right, I can hide good over there. I can run from the camera. And that's four pieces. American. This is American. The brand name is Robinson's. We buy it by the five pound blocks pre sliced at, at the uh, deli at the produce stand. And um, you can get it other places, but 
we like theirs, and uh, that's where we normally get ours. Um, but it's it's a good American cheese, Robinson's. And, and this is uh, Belvita. And that's not even that's cheese food, but it's so creamy and so good. It's worth it's worth it not being exactly real. And you can see what a hunk I've got in there without it means you're so good. You did good, Mama. Make it like you're making it for the kids. Oh, you get jealous, don't you? A little bit. Oh. I mean, when when they get ooey gooey delicious cheese, and then I get well, here's a little cheese. It's hard. It's been deprived of its life. Not all my life. Just since some kids come along. <laughs> They're just jealous. Is that what's going on? You don't share well. Do I share. I, I tell you, you share better when you're feeling than you do now. <laughs> I do share. I just can recognize the quality goes up when the kids come in. They're special. It, it's lovely. It's a lovely picture that you paint. And I'm just took the pepper he was asking about. Mm. He says I cover the top of it. Well, take it back to the stove. See if it's cheesy enough for this baby. Don't act like some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. When them grandbabies or them grandchildren are... She's got great nieces and nephews just like her grandkids. But when they come along, it does seem like sometimes... Not only do they get by with a bunch of stuff that I never did get by with, like eating in the living room. I, as an adult, I don't even eat in mom's living room. Uh, but I've seen some kids in there eating. She don't say nothing to them. Uh, and like macaroni and cheese, it's noticeably better when she's making it for the children. Oh, bless. I'm just going to leave it at that. Bless its heart. But mama, it's good. It's good even when you do just put a little smell of cheese on it for me. It's still delicious. Okay, Mama. Do you think this little bowl, this thimble that you've given me? I asked you, did you think that'd be big? Well, I know how well you love to use a little tiny bowl. Especially when I'm chopping and cutting or having to stir. She let, like I had to stir or something up. She loves to give me a little thimble of a bow and say, no, don't make a mess. No, don't make a mess. That's right. All this is going in, folks. What do you all think? Sometimes she's tell me, John, you need a bigger bow. You guys going to tell me that tonight? Is that where we are? It might be a fact that we do need a bigger bow. I know one thing. I need my Tupperware spatulas. Back over here. They're over there. Well, I ain't seen high that. Oh, I'll have to use this one when it'll work. Maybe, but not near as good as my beautiful orange one. Well, one went in behind there. I don't know. One fell there. down to the bottom. I'm going to have to take the bottom drawer out. Get up under there and pull out all the dishes that I'm missing. And I always feel like I've got a present because... When I do y'all do that when you clean out your cabinets or you go underneath the drawers where stuff has been too full and it falls off the back. I was like, wow, I've got a new spatula. I've got a new spoon because I've not seen it in a while. This one I'm cleaning here is good. This is a good comparison. It's a baby crocker. Okay. Maybe I should put the onion in here and give it a whirl. You reckon? Because I see some pieces. Let's just scrape this in here.
pulled out my vegetable knife because it's supposed to be used for vegetables. But I like my purple Tupperware better. It's a French chef. It, this one does handle the vegetables real well, but I'm used to my purple one. You know, Mama even gave me an extra purple one. Oh, I got you three of them. Have you got three in the door now? I sure have. I want you to have three in there. Did you think something was going wrong? Was it a present? Mama's tight with her Tupperware. She won't let me have it. I'll say, oh, she said, you got one of them. No, you can't have that. Don't you, Mama? Yeah, you ain't supposed to get You ain't supposed to grab get everything I bring in here, she'll say. That's right. You're hoggish sometimes. We keep talking, she'll say something hurt my feelings. Now what are you doing? I'm getting you that bigger bowl so you'll quit busting at me. Mama, I ain't said a word, Harley. Harley. <laughs> you got to put some of this broth in. I mean, the fact that we've used the same bowl for 40 years, and tonight you bring out a thimble, probably understandable. Too much. Do what? You're picking on me too much. Oh, have mercy. Picking on her. Mama, I've done all my chores. I'm proud of you for that part. Oh, if you're just on here for the first time, please don't go away thinking Mama and I, oh, they had a big fight out there because we tear. This is how we tear on all the time. Even when the cameras aren't rolling, this is our norm. And if you don't believe us, ask anybody who's ever been here. This is the norm, Aunt Mama. Yeah. And if I don't pick on her, then she says, what's wrong with you tonight? Girl, for cool. But she knows I talk. She don't talk. It ain't unusual for her to be quiet. But it's unusual for me to be quiet. But to be honest with you, I find it more, I'm getting a lot like her. Oh no, you're not. You're like the mm, I'm getting a lot like her. I'll be cooking or doing something or typing something and somebody will be on the phone. I'm like, then I start doing that robot talk that I hate. It makes me mad when people do that. And I'll say something like, use your words. And they go, oh, I'm sorry, I was busy. I'm like, I know. I tell Mama that all the time, too. Use your words, Mama. Use all my words. And she'll say, oh, I'm busy. Now, see, there, you can't put all that in here. No. This thimble bow won't work, Mama. Here now, here's a bow that'll work. Oh, look at that. I've scraped celery for three, for three days. Oh, you ain't been on it but just a few minutes. I washed it and cleaned it. I know, but I scraped it. <clears throat> anyway, there we go. I guess I better keep this. Now, in here is some, uh, this is what we were telling you before. Chicken broth. About our mayonnaise jars, or JFG jars, either one. This has been in here, it says. I couldn't read it. It says turkey. Bra. It's my turkey bra. Turkey bra from 10, 29, 23. That was just in November, October. So I guess it's turkey or turtle one. <laughs> it ain't turtle one, I promise you that. That's definitely a T. Anyhow, it freezes in these wonderfully. And uh, you just drop it in the freezer. Then it had that much head space at the top. Still got ice in it though, but it'll, it'll pull that. out. You don't have to put the ice in there all Almost as you, ain't that broth too? Yeah, it's all broth. Well, that's a lot of ice not to use. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in the microwave and get it softened up so. So this is turkey broth, not chicken broth, but that's fine. I thought it was chicken. You can even probably put some hot water in that and then put it in your microwave. There's just some soup to put in it. And so, this is our normal uh, cornbread dressing. 
So <laughs> this is the celery and the onions and some turkey broth or chicken broth. Gonna put a little bit of table salt right on here. You've got a lot in there, and what that's gonna do is help pull the water out of this. And I'm gonna put some table pepper in here. Just take mostly covering the top. Now, one of the ingredients we always use is poultry seasoning, and it's a blend of all kinds of seasonings, including sage. But we'll put a little bit of sage in there as well. And I'll just cover the top with it. If you cover the top, I normally find that's about enough for the whole dish. Now, I don't know if going to tell me that. I don't know. We use that method in the restaurant business. So I guess it carried over. Because you're making such quantities, you can't use a teaspoon or a tablespoon. You've got to cover your whole grain there. This is sage. I'm kind of just doing it the same way. Make sure I get that lid back to return to where it needs to be. And this is cream of chicken, one can. And I'm gonna see if it'll just go all up in there. Sometimes it will. Not tonight. It'll do it another night when y'all ain't watching. Chicken. And that's some more turkey broth coming in. Let's get all of the cream of chicken out. Stuff's too expensive to waste. Get every bite of that goodie out of there. Not only because it's just too expensive to waste, but we need it. And we rinse our cans. Y'all rinse your cans? Mama will rinse that can right out. Right now, I've got like two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And I thought I was going to have to put the bacon in there. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise over here. Why don't you go to town with this tartar sauce? And a tablespoon of salt on it for me. Time this video's over, they're going to say, they put tartar sauce in their dressing. <laughs> well, they might do it. You screw it. This is just a sideline. This is just for tonight's supper. Nothing to do with the dressing. What was the old saying that was so popular back in that? A sidebar. Uh, can we get a sidebar? This is sidebar for thousand or Well, Lord, now everybody's confused. S tartar sauce for... The fish, which I may or may not even like that fish, but you all told me to get Gorton's. Y'all remember that? Well, I've tried all kinds of frozen fishes that I don't like. Don't get what, Mama? Don't get that in our dressing. No, Mama is, this is the funny thing about Mama. I'm well over 25. And she still tells me stuff like that. Does your mama do that or your grandmama or whoever? Now, mama will be making a gallon of sweet tea. And she'll have it over there near the sink. And I'll go to wash my hands. And she feels obligated, even though I'm over 25, <laughs> to say to me, now, don't get that soap in my tea. That will irritate me to no end. Does your mama tell you that way? Don't get that tartar sauce in that dressing. Got you, mama. How many minutes it say for that cake? Okay. The cake, it said 25 to 30. Well, then it can come out. And I'm like, oh, you don't want me to wash my hands over this open pitcher of tea? Is that what? Now, I know you know better. I said, I know. And that was my point. I know better, Mama. You don't have to tell me that little tidbit. 
I think I have to tell you sometimes. Well, let's look at this. I want to see. What did you say? What? <laughs> I said, I think I have to tell you sometimes. And you do. <laughs> <laughs> you get close to my... She does me that way all the time. Don't do that, she'll say. She also tells me not to cut myself on knives. Now, don't cut yourself with that knife. That's my right, being a mama, to tell you this. It's fine, mama. Yeah. And I'll say, oh, this knife, you don't want me to cut myself on? No. I'll say, okay, thank you. I won't. Thank you for reminding me, mama. Secretively, I like that. Because every time she does it, we laugh about it, and we have a good time. Oh my goodness, I don't think we've got that much bread. <laughs> if we don't, that's a giant size bowl. If we don't, we will freeze this whole mixture after we cook it and we will use it at Easter or when the next time we have dressing, whenever that may be. Uh, we can freeze dressing and use it. Mom, we probably got some frozen dressing in there. Uh, just a little bit. Not enough to feed a family. Not enough to feed two, but not enough to feed a family. Now that's the way that's going to look, folks. This is for the cornbread dressing. And what we're going to do is we're going to put plastic wrap over the top and all this liquid in here, and we're going to let it boil. And what it's, it'll do is it'll dome up, and it'll just keep the dripping will keep going back, and it'll just cook. The celery will get soft. The onions will get soft. All that beautiful flavor is going to go right in there. And when it does, it's going to make delicious dressing. Yes, it's good. Just wanted to see if the spices was right. Now you can add more dressing, more sage and all that stuff to this after you put it in with your cornbread. And we do sometimes. Mom will taste it and tells me what to put in it. So there we go. You get a hold of that corner. Yes, ma'am. Right. There. It's on top. There you go. Just got a good seal. Get all the air out. And that's all there is to that. And that will dome up and make a beautiful cooked bowl of goodie. Here, Mama, you talk to him and show him your fish. Yeah, your fish is, I'm going to put this in. 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 She's as independent as the hot on ice. And you know, we get some negative comments on here, but the, my favorite ones is when people allude, allude to the fact that they think that I have told this wildcat something and she listened to it. Or if they think that I didn't let her do something because you don't tell her to do nothing. You don't not let her do anything. And she'll find you like a bear if she thinks you're not going to let her put a bowl in the microwave. She don't like that. I have four brothers. She came from, a, she's got a lot of siblings. She's used to fighting and scrapping all the time. That's your mama. Yeah. Folks, that is the world's best macaroni and cheese you're looking at right here. This is like a, a monumental moment in your life. You can remember this date and this time when you've seen the world's Best macaroni and cheese. Look at that, Mama. Oh, yeah. It's like the kids is here. It's so cheesy. Oh, I'm glad it's sent you. And they're not feelings. It's not hurt. I feelings they have a bit hurt, Mama. Oh, yes, they get hurt. Now, my, you don't ever hurt my feelings, really. I just like to talk about it. One way you know if my feelings are not hurt is if I'm talking about it and saying you hurt my feelings. Because if you really hurt my feelings, I just ain't going to say nothing about it. Are y'all that way? When I'm talking about 
something, then it, I'm good. But when I go silent, radio silent, I said radio silent, the internet went off. I did it. When I go radio silent for real, that means don't mess with him. He's pondering something. Now that part you get at me. Oh, Mama's that way. She snubs up. Mama, let's come here and bless it. Supper's done. I want to Oh, the canned bread? Mm -hmm. Let's look at this, folks. We're going to, there it is. Come right out my pan. Over there, she's flatter. Let's look at this bread. What y'all well, think? Y'all want to look at it? Let's see here. Just come out of the oven. Let's see what we have. You gotta get your fingers in there too, don't you? So mm -hmm. we both get burnt. Right. You don't want me to get burnt by myself, do you? No, I hate that. Okay. That was sweet of you. Take a good burn. Oh, you smell that cinnamon and It smells wonderful. Let's cut it. I like to cut breads in the middle. I like to start in the middle. A lot of people start on the end. I like to start right in the middle, even with banana bread or anything. And there's there's a method to my madness. First of all, that middle pieces usually are the tastiest. But when you cut a slice out of the middle, it's easier to cut. And then, it's prettier. Let's cut this right up out of here. So there it is, folks. Looks delicious, don't it? Um, but then, after you, like this is a loaf of banana bread, say. After I've cut out two or three pieces here and served my guest, it don't look like that on the end when it's long as banana bread. I take it and I push it together to store it and put it back in the cake pan, and you just look like you got a smaller loaf, and the loaf just keeps shrinking. So you get to you just have two ends. And if you're an end eater, then it's good. If not, then you do what you want to with them. But it still looks good on your serving tray. And uh, it keeps it tight in there. So it's less air. So that's the reason I always slice my breads in the middle first. I'm gonna take one little bite and see what I think as a sample. It's very good. That smells wonderful. Mm, you'll like it. Thank you for the bread in the can. Yeah, I've never seen it. We're going to set him over there. Set him over here. Don't you grab that bomb. I'm going to try See, so that's one of those examples where I tell her something, and she's like, I wasn't going to grab that hot pan. I know better mm -hmm. sometimes. I've just got my burn on my arm and peeled up. I know, you keep it easy, Mama. Now let's try this Gorton's fish. You're welcome, Mama. I like to try it on a night like tonight, and why? Because if I don't like it, that's okay, the star of the show's right here. This right here is the star of the show, Mama's Macaroni and Cheese. Oh, I'm telling you, I don't know what the honey. I smell the fish, I smell the... Red, now I smell dressing. <laughs> smell dressing. Okay. It right, kind of reminds me of, of Thanksgiving or Christmas around here. Yeah. Get your tartar sauce. All right, Mama, let's bless it and we're ready to eat it. This little Gordon's patty don't look too big, does it? No, it looks bigger. Dearly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it all, dear Lord. And we just ask you to watch over us, lead and direct us, and nourish our bodies with this meal. And Lord, we're so thankful that we're able to sit here tonight in our own home and partake of this meal. And, and it's just those simple things that mean so much to Lord. Lord, everybody who's gathered here tonight, Lord, we pray for them. We ask you to bless them because we know... There's needs and there's losses and there's prayer requests out there that's spoken and unspoken, dear Lord. And we just pray that 
you'll answer each and every one of them. What's over so you can go and direct this in your mouth we pray. Amen. I'm going to raise y'all up because the angle. There we go. How does that look? I've not had a chance to talk to y'all and read. I can't. That's why I can't multitask and I can't see. I'm going to try to. The macaroni is very cheesy. So it is. Cheesy. I know. I'm going to try this gorgeous because that is kind of what I was. I got cake in my mouth. Mm -mm. I think it's But now I get coffee, so I'm clean. Fish and cake. Not liking the inside looks so good. Mm. The taste is okay. It's okay, but I'm going to say, if anybody has any other recommendations, I'd be willing to try. I don't quite think my search is over. <laughs> we haven't had any fish to like. I want that good piece of filet that's like a restaurant quality. But you don't have to batter and fry and get fresh fish and start from zero. Is so that too much to ask for? <laughs> Stepper looks delicious. Thank you, Jane. You just bake it in an empty tin can. Yeah, I've seen people do that cakes that way. This was sent to us by one of y'all, and uh, we just wanted to try it. And share it with y'all as we tried it. Here comes the star of the show, Mama's macaroni and cheese. Oh, it's cheesy, believe me. Stop the presses. Mm. Well, you ain't jealous of the kids tonight. What kids? Don't even know they're kids. Mmm. I don't want my macaroni and cheese touching that tartar though. <laughs> This is it. Absolutely delicious, Mom. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Mmm. No, I don't think I need fish, tartar sauce, or anything tonight. Just macaroni and cheese. Just Mama's macaroni and cheese is my meal. I want a white flaky fish. That's breaded, but it still tastes fresh. Now, I may never find that it may not exist. You get used to it. We had a cod we thought it's good. We used to get a frozen fish at the store, and I guess that's what I'm trying to recreate is that one we used to get. But you can't it ain't there now. I'll tell you one thing. If you can beat this macaroni and cheese, I gotta taste it. Because <laughs> this is the world's best macaroni and cheese one. Mm -hmm. You used to say that about your grains to her. Well, like I said earlier, there are two things and that can be correct at the same time. It don't always have to be a tug of war. Granny's could have been the world's best macaroni and cheese, and Mama's could have been just like it. <laughs> That's a possibility. Everything's not debatable. Some things just are. Like Granny had the world's best macaroni and cheese. You had the world's best macaroni and cheese. Mm. And you still have it. You still yeah. have that reigning crown. Uh huh. Yeah. Remember, two things can be correct at the same time. You just would say that about grannies if it wasn't, but it, she always made real good macaroni. She always made good macaroni and cheese, and sometimes I had to tell her her slaw was good when it really wasn't. <laughs> 
And one time I had to tell her Pimento cheese was good, and then I had to fess up and say, don't ever do that again, please. <laughs> That's when she put Because she was going to put pickle relish in it again. And I thought, oh. She, uh, A lot of people put pickle relish in it. I don't like it. She made the world's best pimento cheese, too, just like Mama. And I came home from school, and she said, honey, there's pimento cheese in there if you want a sandwich. Immediately. I lit up like a Christmas tree light bulb. Immediately, I went and got the bread. And sometimes I had to be careful about Granny's bread too because she would buy a loaf and put it in the freezer and I know they didn't like it after it was in the freezer. But she had fresh bread and I was so excited. I opened up the pimento cheese and it had green chunks in it. She said, here, let me fix you a sandwich. So she piled it full of pimento cheese. I ate it. She said, you want another? It was like a hack. We always did fold overs. You know I said, no. What did you even get? I said, it's delicious. It's great. Then she went to tell me. I tried something new. I put pickle relish in it. I think it's good. If you like it, I'll make it that way some more. And I said, Granny, I gotta be honest with you. It's, a, it, it's okay. But nothing in this world is better than your original. So when you gonna make it for me again, if you don't care, just make the original. Leave out the pickle. <laughs> I don't know if she saw through me, probably, but she never did make it for me like that again. It was awful, wasn't it, Mama? Mm -hmm. uh. Granny could have been a food critic. They'd go to a new restaurant and she'd come in and she'd tell you all about it. And she'd say, it was good. It was good. Every place was good. All of them. In all the years of doing these videos, that has never happened. Not like that, never. Sorry. It just... Flashed and went to my home screen, and everything was gone. It didn't lose the internet. Hmm. Did we lose all the first part? We could have. So if you're finding this where it says take two macaroni and cheese, that was a good, well, 45 minutes 45, yeah. of video. It may have posted, but I'm kind of doubting it now. But anyhow, I was talking about my granny. And her being a good cook and her good macaroni and cheese, but her macaroni and cheese was delicious too. But that's never done that. I hope we didn't lose that whole video because we would, we've done a little bit of cornbread dressing mixing up. We've done tartar stuff. We got a lot on there. So I'll try to find it, but if you're just coming across this take two and you're thinking, what are they doing? They started right in the middle and at the end. <laughs> well, we've had about a 40 minute video and the, it just clicked off. So hopefully it will automatically post. It was a live video, so hopefully it will. The other night, it did something weird and it automatically posted it. And I thought we lost it. So for y'all who were here, you may have to remember that first part. Step through it and missed it. And for y'all who just got here, or if you're watching this days later, and it says take two and you can't find the take one, then don't waste your time looking for it. It just didn't post and I don't have it. So I don't know what happened. But anyhow, my apologies for whatever did happen because we didn't plan it that way. Mama, I'm a little scattered now after that. <clears throat> what was we talking about or what was we going to do? Well, we're going to get off the gear and let him rest. <laughs> and we got work to do. Mama says, you got work to do. Don't worry about that thing. Let's get busy. That's right. Don't worry about that camera. It didn't want my son and it kicked out. Mama said, in a minute, she's fixing and say, it was just meant to be. That's right. Stuff happens in life. That's the way it is. Next. <laughs> just meant to be. One more. <laughs> everything. Happens for a reason. And a reason for everything. There you go. That's her three big ones. Jabber over here, she's acting up too. So something may have happened. 
could have been a, something. I don't know. But it's never done. Anything. This is a or the world. I hope, not, I hope not just went a little mm. sideways. But thank y'all for coming back. Thank you for putting up with us. Thank you for putting up with technology or the lack thereof that we experience. She's telling me now to put egg money out. The egg lady will be here in the morning and we'll have egg money out there for her. All right, Mama. You want to add anything? No. I'm just glad we're on earth. What do you think about the Gorton's fish? It's pretty good, but it ain't still like what we wanted. <laughs> that face of yours, so did I. That's the only face I got, Mom. I had to use this one. Yeah, you're using it bad. <laughs> Made the face. Maybe there's some out there we do like. You know, here's the thing. I found uh, Tyson's chicken, ten, southern chicken tenderloin. Mm -hmm. They're so good. And they're almost just as good as ours. Homemade. And that's what I'm wanting to find in the fish family. It's something that's... You can tell it's not homemade, but it's just so good. Uh, I want a light, I want a piece of fish that's thick, and I want the white flaky, and I want it breaded, and I want to be able to pop it in the air fryer and have fish on a Friday night sometimes just because. Or it's Saturday. Or Tuesday. Or anytime. <laughs> anytime we want. Or a good fish sandwich just because. When we was in, when I was in school, not when I was in school, we had fish about every Friday. You did too. They did when you was in there, but they yeah. quit doing that. We had fish, macaroni and cheese, and green beans usually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a little bit more of this because that's my supper. Macaroni and cheese. And I'm fine with that, really, I am. It's good. My daddy would put grape jelly in this and stir it oh. up. Can't hardly stand the of it. <laughs> I've tasted it, but it's different. I've never tasted it, but I don't You wouldn't taste it. I never would. I wouldn't have to. Mm. All right, folks. We may get cut off again, so we're going to go. Thank you for putting up with us and being here on a Friday night. Thank you for sharing our page. We're growing. Um, Mama looks at it every day, and she says, We've grown, and she tells me the number. Mm -hmm. And she's so excited. She's trying to get to 200000 before my birthday, which is pushing it a little bit. Because that's... Oh, yeah. It's going to push it. But I think they can do it. Mama's like, they can do it. They can oh, do yeah, anything. They can do it. Mama's got confidence in y'all. She loves she loves to watch and share and like and follow. Some of y'all may think you are following us and, sh and and all, but you're not. Go, we're, we're live right now. See this little red right here? That means you're on the right channel. Some of you all, like 25,000 of y'all, are on a fake channel. Because uh, I see it pop up on mine sometimes and it says viewing 25,000. Mm. So if some of y'all will go and check on our homepage, Coffee Time with John and Mama, and there should be almost 178 or 1,000 on there. Check and see. And then like and follow and put your notifications on that. You'll have on the real page. And we'll be right here in with you every evening. And we we video every day. So if you're like, I've not seen them in a few weeks. You may be on the wrong channel, on the wrong, whatever you call this, page. Or you're not getting the notifications because either I put a notice as to why we're not going to be here. Or we show up even if it's just to tell you why we weren't able to cook or why we, we'll chat for a few minutes anyway. Don't we, Mom? Yeah, try to every time. Stuff happens sometimes. We Sometimes, but it's very few and far between. I always post something. So you'll either get a post that says, sorry, we're not able to film tonight or we're not able to come live tonight. We've got something going on. But that's you, that's emergencies only or if something really comes up in a flash. But anyway, I'm anxious to go see if the part, first part of this even made it. Anyway, it may be when I said a while ago, Stop the presses. I gotta quit saying that. I guess. Yeah. That's a newspaper talk. Yeah. Or it might be a Facebook in there. <laughs> Stop the press. <laughs> All right, folks, y'all have a blessed night. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, if we can in the morning, we'll come on and show that dressing. It's getting it mixed up. And uh, probably we'll show you when the turkey comes out and some stuff like that and some other dishes we're gonna make. 
So, you'll probably see some more of us in the morning. Mm -hmm. Lord willing. But then we're going to be tied up if it's cloudy today after that. No, not too far along. A few hours will be fine. Folks, make some memories. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you, though. Have a wonderful night. Y'all have a blessed night.